Hey everybody, I'm Ivonix and this is Enderall. Uh, we are of course still on the starship and um, now it is time to go find Jaspar and have a chat with him, I guess. Let's see, let's make sure. Okay, I guess he's uh, out on the deck. Open a strange place. <laughs> There he is. Ah. Hey, buddy. It's a crazy world, isn't it? Yes, it is. What do you mean? We're on our way to a forgotten city in the clouds, and I'm part of it. That just sounds surreal. <sighs> but anyway, it's good that you're here. I wanted to talk to you. Do you have a second? Smile. I wouldn't be here if I didn't, would I? <laughs> you have a point there. I... how should I put it? I wanted to thank you. I'm not sure if you know it, but all that's happened since I plucked you out of that thicket on the Sun Coast, it did something to me. I think I've understood something, as corny as it may sound. What? <sighs> Love? It's hard to put into words. You know, I, I still believe what I told you that time we met at the Dancing Nomad. That we all act as we do because we hope it makes us happy. But somehow, in no small part thanks to my father, I've always considered responsibility and being happy to be contradictory. But actually, that's wrong. It's the exact opposite. In order to be truly content, we need connection. To a person, to a cause, to anything. If you never find that, you'll never find yourself. Well, that's certainly a change of tune compared to what you said in Silver Cloud. Ah, uh, no, let's, let's not let's not bring up that sordid conversation. Okay, so what you're essentially saying is we all need something to live for, right? Maybe. Maybe not. In the end, I can only speak for myself. The fact is, though, that it... I don't know, that, that it feels like I owe this world to be right here, right now. As part of something... momentous. And I like how that feels. That surprises me. No matter how all this ends, I will have no regrets. That's good. The same goes for our friendship. That's what I wanted to tell you. Despite all the trouble we got ourselves into, I'm glad that our paths crossed. For whatever reason they did. Coincidence. The feeling's mutual. Thanks. But anyway, enough of this sentimental babble for now. You should probably rest a little. Who knows what awaits us up there. Okay. Nice having a chat with you, buddy. Um, well, I guess uh, talking with him was the last quest objective I've had for the moment, so... Yes? What do you want? Um... What do you think is waiting for us in the Star City? Well, peace, hopefully. Forgive him, but he has no better answer. Okay, all right, we've been airborne for more than a day now. About when will we arrive? It will take some more time. Use it to stretch your legs or to talk to your friends. I already talked you to my friends. You will know when it is time. I can only talk to them once per quest. You know how it goes. All right, I guess I'll go see if I can sleep. those beds. Can I sleep in this one yet? Yes, I can sleep here. Okay, do you want to lie down and wait for the arrival or talk to your companions first? I, I already talked to them, so lie down. Watch me wake up and like the ship is crashing, falling out of the sky or something. Okay. Oh! Okay. Why hasn't anyone noticed us yet? They probably just haven't seen us yet. The clouds, that's it. Floating city. Well, the city is deserted. Looks like it to me. I was gonna say that place looks Nonsense. deserted. <laughs> now quiet. He needs to concentrate. Oh, I hope we don't get flung out of the ship again. Oh, uh, there you are. I was just about to wake you. Thank you. <laughs> hmm? Oh, oops. We gotta see what she said. But as you've noticed, it's a little too well, quiet. Yeah. 
What's Kermai's take on this? He must be bursting with excitement. He was at first, yes. But he's grown more distant the closer we've gotten. Let's just hope for the best. And this massive tower in the middle, that's where we're going to look for the Numinos, isn't it? Correct, yes. <clears throat> the Nexus Tower. <sighs> By Malphus, it's a pity we don't have the time to explore <laughs> this place more thoroughly. Yeah, such Just a pity. imagine how much history is hidden in each one of these stones. It's incredible. Maybe we can come back here one day, once we've stopped the cleansing. Yeah, sure, that'd be fun. The city doesn't look very lively. It's not supposed to be like this, is it? No, not at all. But who knows? Maybe it's as the Starling says, and we'll be surprised. Uh, I wouldn't keep my hopes up. So what's now? Well, first of all, let us take a look at it up close. Then we'll see. <sighs> oh, okay. Hmm. Still, no one. That must mean something, right? He will find them. He will find them, and they will... Hey, hey wait! Hermai! Buddy! By the righteous path. That's not good at all. Come on, we have to follow him. Oh, Kermai. Ah. Wait. Wow. Nice music. Kermai. This person is busy. <laughs> Waiting for the rest of them to get up here. ...have ended up in the hands of the Starlings. Ancient fathers or not, whoever was capable of creating something like this must also have known things. Let's just wait and see. Father Uruli! Father Jotanax! Father Rajimon! He is here, and he has found you! Just as your prophecy foretold, now open the gates! Why don't you answer? Open the gates! Oh my. I sense drama. Same here. By the stars! Why do you punish him with silence? He found you! He fulfilled your prophecy! So let him inside! Oops. No! No, 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 no! This isn't happening! This... This isn't happening! This is just sad. Yes. Yes, he is here. He is sorry, Magistra. It was a mistake to come here. This place is dead, and the ancient fathers died with it. Very poetic, pal, but now you're overdoing it. Who says they're dead? Maybe your ancient fathers just... Hmm? left for someplace else yes i'm sure they did <sighs> look i am sorry this place isn't what you had hoped it would be i really am but dalveric is right you shouldn't jump to conclusions and despair won't help you either we should inspect this place before deciding anything don't you agree I agree. The only question is, how to get inside? Hmm. We could try breaking this gate open. Splendid idea, boy. Do you have a battering ram with you? Myrid-sized, preferably? <laughs> yes, probably. Well, then let's go look for it. We split up. Sister Sakarish. You accompany Kermai and take a closer look at the area around the docks. Legion and I will examine Kermai's the eastern here. part of the city. And you, you and Delveric scout the west. Okay. If anyone finds anything, call the rest of the group before doing anything else. Now off you go. All right. Well, I'd say that went differently than expected. But all tragedy aside, <sighs> this place must be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's pretty neat. Come on, you go ahead. I'll be right behind you. Okay, so we're taking, isn't it? Yeah, really. So we're supposed to take the western part. They said what, northern part. They were the ah, I don't know. Let's just walk up here and see what's up. Oh, boon number two, adept book of rhetoric, fleshless lost. Oh, 
There's lost ones here. That's not a good sign. I hear a hidden root. Ah! Just far out of the way. Oh. No, it's a red vin root. That's cool. Ah. Oh, both of you, out of my way. That definitely does not seem like a good idea. I could probably land on that pipe, but I would probably fall and die. Oh, this is nice. Bamboo. the door. Hey, over here. That looks like a side entrance to me. Come, let's go get the others. Good. That looks exactly like what we needed. Anything we should know about the interior, Kermai? Traps? No. Hmm. Well then. Really? I mean, those starling Kermai, people are pretty you, tricky. You, the prophetess Dalveric, and I will go inside. Please, and sister Sikarish, you stay and guard the ship. If we haven't returned, or if you haven't heard from us within 12 hours, you're to take the ship back to Ark. Understood? Uh, understood. Then let's be off. Yay! Let's go. Mechanics halls. Ooh. That's a nice lamp thing. Where are you going? Magistra. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. It's this strong gyro old dynamo. Uh I'm guessing I'm just supposed to Oh, fucking rat. Why do I not have any of my shit equipped? I mean, come on. mad rats here. I mean, you'd think it being so high up in the sky, you just wouldn't find much animal life aside from, like, birds. I'm behind you. Do I have to stop walking every ten feet? Oh dear. Oh no. Uh-oh. Magistra, be careful. Let's see... Hmm... This is Starling's script, but it's... different. Blazes. Can you take a look at that, Kermai? <sighs> of course. Uh, uh, he sees. That's very... Uh, all right, yes. These are directions. To the left is the Shorai. Which roughly means workshop. The bright corridor leads to the living quarters. He thinks the shore eye will lead us to the top of the main tower. Good. Then left we go. Shore eye, of course, is the name of the developers of Enderal and others, the Canarum. Okay, so we just go up these stairs. It's hmm. a nice light. Any more rats? It's 
place is a bit cavernous, isn't it? This is where the council held their meetings, isn't it, Kermai? Wait, where is he? Uh oh. He. What the uh -oh. heck? He was here a second ago. Oh no. <sighs> Wonderful. We need to find him. Let's split up. We'll meet up again here. This does not bode well. Kermai? Where'd you go, little buddy? Nobody's here. Well, you could at least make that map marker go away. Nothing. And the last one is over here. I do not like the look of this. So. This is like... Huh? Yes, join me, Jaspar. Please. Don't make Any me do luck? this alone. <laughs> no, but this lift looks as if it has been recently used. True, but why does this pal just run off like that? That's just plain stupid. I couldn't agree more, but at least now we have a trail. Let's see if the lever still works. Alright. She's probably gonna do it. Anything? Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, no levers for the others. There you go. Then let's see where that leads. Oh boy. And wearing this goddamn outfit. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hmm. What now? God, so many rats. Take a look around. Now oh, we reached a dead end. He must have gone somewhere. Yeah, there's probably gonna be some switch or something sitting around. I mean, aha. Uh -huh. hmm. That's what I think about it. I mean, not really. The chain was pretty much in plain sight. Friend, Vin, Star City. By the wise hermit. What is this place, Magistra? Well, Can you read the glyphs? I'll try. Yes, that? Hmm. Tower of Memories. That should be it. <laughs> Talking through Jaspar. What are these crystals? Good question. They look like energy sources, don't they? The same as the Pyreans used. And that power, it's immense. 
Tower of Memories, that sounds like the Starling version of the Chronicum to me, a place to gather knowledge. That's just what we need, isn't it? Huh. Let me read some more. Blazes, this is tricky, but by Malthus. Yes! Yes? We got lucky. The Prophetess was right. This is an archive. The archive, to be precise. The gathered memories of the ancient Starlings. They don't seem to have memorized a lot, then. <clears throat> we will see about that. Yeah, Come. what's this thing right here? What is this? Oh, that smile. <laughs> are you going to join us, or are you going to stand there grinning like an idiot? Happened, shit. We're falling. <laughs> so, Magistra, I'm guessing a word of warning would have killed the drama. One moment. Ah, here. Uh, yeah, how, how are we gonna? Ah! I don't like this ride! Okay... The Starling prophecies were right. The Ancient Fathers have lived in this place for eras, maybe eons. And throughout the years, they have documented the rise and fall of every civilization. And we're just about to see their memories of the Pyrians. Cool! Wait, did you just say that the Starlings have been up here since before the Pyrians? Correct. And they witnessed all of it. Their creation, their bloom, and their downfall. The same goes for many, many cultures that were before them. So why'd they leave? But now that it's our turn in the cycle, they have disappeared. Why? Well, that's the big question, isn't it? But I fear we have no time to wonder about that. At least not for the moment. Uh, but if the ancient starlings have lived here for so long, that means the cleansing somehow couldn't harm them. Correct. And yet, they never helped any of the civilizations that were extinguished by it. Mm-hmm. Where didn't that die? Who knows? Maybe their hands were tied somehow. That's a pretty poor excuse for holding dozens of civilizations being murdered, or they didn't want to get involved for some reason. Or that. But that's hmm. just speculation. What we do know is that neither the Red Madness, the High Ones, nor the Cleansing could harm them and that their knowledge might be the key to completing the beacon. Yay! Oh, would you look at that? Welcome to the memories of the ancient fathers. Uh, Let's oh my God. see what we can learn from it. So disorienting. <laughs> the Grand Master was right about this. The Pyrian history should perfectly reflect the different phases of the cycle, including wow. the cleansing. For similarities to Vin's history. Looks like the war, that looks like the cleansing. People falling. Oh, maybe this is the first one. Let's see. Hmm. That's yes, the first that's step of the cycle. Out of nothing, life forms itself. And from that life, man evolves and starts populating the earth. Yep. Oh, skeleton there. The second step of the cycle, just as the Grandmaster said. A first civilization arises, blossoms, and falls. For us, it was Asadaron's reign of the Eterna, which collapsed after Starfall. Who knows what it was in the age of the Pyrians? That's... let me see... hmm... yes, this is the creation of a theocracy. After the first civilization falls, a second one arises. That is reigned over by a few who proclaim themselves gods. The Lightborn. Do you see the hats? These were the sun priests of the Pyrian realm, the equivalent of our Lightborn. 
That's step number four, the downfall of the rulers. For us, it was the Shadow God and the Rathsol Renthiel who killed the Lightborn. In the Pyrian Age, it was this general, Jakal. He was a member of one of the reigning castes himself, but one day he turned against them. He was the Pyrian Shadow God and the Pyrian Terranor Korak all in one, so to speak. Cleansing, I'm the chaos, the okay, war, no the red madness. This is the That's fifth step then. where we are right now. Do you see this shape in the background? Yep. This must be the High Ones who are behind all of it. The cycle nears its end. And the final cleansing. The sixth step. The cycle concludes, the cleansing happens, and mankind vanishes just like that. <sighs> Do you see this temple in the background? This must be the temple in the city of a thousand floods, the heart of the Pyrian realm. Huh. And after the sixth step, it all starts over. So this is the final proof. Everything that has happened to the Pyrians, and probably to those before them too, is now happening to us. Yep. We knew that already. How exactly does that help us find the Numinos? That's the question, but... By the gods. What? Malthus blessed mankind. It ascends to the huh? sky, to the high ones. The dialogue bugged out. Mankind there for a doesn't vanish at the end of a cycle. It becomes a high one. What? That is how they reproduce, how they feed, or whatever you wish to call it. Don't you see? These shapes that ascend skywards. They're thoughts, our consciousness, our souls, and all of them together form a new High One. So mm -hmm. you're saying what a High One really is, is the consciousness of an entire civilization? Yes, it's our memories, our thoughts, our dark knowledge, our collective consciousness. This, this is monstrous. So that's what the cleansing really is, the creation of a new High One from a civilization. Yes, yes, by the righteous path, that's it. Korak is right. In a way, humanity does reach a new level of existence, because it becomes one of those beasts. But even knowing all that, it still doesn't help us. We still don't know what this Numinos is. Oh yes, we do. The word of the dead. You said the aged man left it for you, didn't you? Yes, why? Then this is the way. The Numinos. I know what it is. Or rather, what we need to fill it with. The essence of a High One. The essence of a High One? What makes you think that? It's hard to explain. The problem with the High Ones is that they don't have a physical shape, and this makes it hard to fight them. They are everywhere and nowhere, just like the air. This is why we need the beacon to fight it. It has the power to banish them. Because it is the counterpart to the High Ones, that's old news, but what makes you think a High One's essence is what the Numinos needs to be filled with? It's an assumption, but a well-grounded one. What the Beacon does is channel massive amounts of energy and unleash it on its core. Isn't it logical, then, that we need something of what we want to banish? Like an energy signature inside it. It might sound far-fetched to you. But it feels right. It feels right is hardly a good basis upon which to make such an important decision. You're correct. It is not. But I don't see that we have any alternatives. Do you? Eh. Alright then, even if this is true, how in blazes are we supposed to get our hands on the essence of a high one? Well, this is where it gets complicated. But I think I also have an answer to that. The word of the dead. We need to use it on a High One, to enter its mind. If there is any place we can find a High One's essence, it is there. Well, that's peachy. Now all we have to do is find a High One who allows us to use the Word of the Dead on him. Uh -huh. Should be an easy task, considering that they've already been so cooperative. That is correct. But I know where to find one. And where's that? Where the last cleansing took place. That is where we need to go, and once we are there, you need to listen to the Echo. Of course, you can see what happened back then. Correct. The Echo grants you the ability to feel and relive the memories of this world. 
always but comes back to me. the High Ones are immaterial and will not reveal themselves to us when we want them to, all we can do is travel back to a point where they did. The last cleansing, where the Pyreans became one of them. And you want to use the word of the dead on this High One to enter its mind and steal its essence. Yes. This means that we have to find the holy city of the Pyreans, where the last cleansing took place, the city of floods. Oh, what makes you think the word of the dead will work on a memory? I thought it can only enter the minds of the deceased. Yes, but we just learned that devouring us is what allows the High Ones to create a new one of their own. In other words, death is what a High One consists of. It's a giant, <laughs> sentient, and ethereal corpse in a way. If that the word pleasant. of the dead doesn't work on them, it shouldn't work on anything. At least, that is one way to see it. Let us hope I'm right. Let's keep those fingers crossed. And where are we supposed to find the City of Floods? Well, I hope this place can help us find the answer. If the ancient starlings witnessed the entire cycle of the Pyreans, then they surely knew a lot about the geography of the world as it was back then as well. We need to keep searching. Come, let us go back to the tower. Alrighty. Entities are reproduced by devouring the consciousness of an entire civilization. If I didn't know that all this was actually happening, I'd say that someone had one drink too many. It just sounds so bizarre. Mm -hmm. Is it? Don't we ourselves breed pigs so that we may eat them once they are fat enough? In a way, the High Ones are just like us, except that it's our thoughts that they are after rather than our bodies. It bears a certain kind of logic. You cannot deny that. Oh, yes, totally. <laughs> you know what's kind of funny about all this? Knowing that Korak's story about mankind ascending isn't as stupid as it first sounded. We don't cease to exist, no. <laughs> we live happily ever after, united into a high one. The collective conscience. That's almost consoling. Yes, but is this new high one really us? Or does it just need us to come forth? Yes, we know now that this is how they reproduce. But we still know far too little. How did they come into being? How long has this been going on? So many questions. Indeed. But how does the saying go? First kill the predator, then ponder its motivations. You're a man of great wisdom, my Sir Delveric. Well then, let's see what... Come I? Yeah. Yeah. They are here! They have been here Where is he? Oh, there he is. Kermai! Where by the righteous path were you? He was a fool to bring you here. Oh, you no. soil born are too dangerous. You've always been. But he was too blinded. Blinded by his dream to finally finish her and sail home. Oh no. I don't like this, Magistra. What are you talking about, Kermai? The fact that the ancient starlings left this city doesn't have anything to do with us. Stop you talking! Have... Darn it, you are so ignorant! They are here, but they won't reveal themselves to us because they don't accept your presence. Because you are unworthy of them. Hermai, this place has been deserted for centuries. You're rational rationalizing, don't you see? He rationalizes? What do you take him for? A fool? If you would just listen for once in your life, you'd hear them. They're everywhere. He will prove his worth to them. He will show that oh, he no. deserves to live oh, among no. them. The soil born have to die, and then the fathers we will reveal themselves. We can't just but finish our business how? and leave. Kermai, stop this! Right now! The defense system, Oh of no. Course. No! No. Shit is gonna come out of all these holes in the walls and try to kill they us. They will understand. Fuck. To arms. Ah! Is my bow always getting unequipped? Where are they? Oh, what the fuck. Oh no! Forgive him! It has to be done! Starling bird shit. Oh god. Ah! Ah, fuck! Oh my god. 
just landed right fucking on top of me. Escape from the steel dragon? Oh, so she's like telling us to get the fuck out. I guess. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Ah, no! Ah. That's what I get for accidentally clicking my mouse. No, no, it's it's fucking oh shit. Oh shit! Defend yourself! Kill the spiders! Do I have uh oh, I guess I'm just supposed to still fall just far? <sighs> that was all of them, I think. I hope. That leaves us with the question of what the heck happened up there? The poor magistra, she she didn't deserve that. Did, did she, I mean did she die because I, I didn't stick around long enough to I mean she was just holding up a barrier or something. Yeah, didn't quite see what had happened there. Kermai seems to have activated some kind of alarm. These machines, they must have been designed to defend the city. Yeah, that makes sense. But what now? We need that map to find the city of a thousand floods. Or whatever they call it. Uh, and getting out of this place alive wouldn't be too bad either. What about the airship? We need to warn Kalia and Legion. You're right, we do. That means back by the dock. Come on, let's get back to the elevator. Okay. Damn it. So much for <laughs> yeah, so much for that. Find another way back down. So. Let's look around. Great. Damn that old fool. Couldn't he have waited until after we were back in Enderall again to have his breakdown? As if this mission wasn't already complicated enough. Oh, lover. Hmm. That looks good. Let's hope it also leads us down to the tower. Botanicum? Oh, wow. This is really pretty. Hey, at least the the top is gated so that uh that dragon isn't gonna come flying down and trying to kill us. Wow. This is pretty neat. I hear stuff. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna say it sounds like a those uh, spheres. Starling Guardians. Yep. Oh, a bunch of them. More of those things. Get ready. Zappy Zap. Level 24. Nice. Well, it seems like the ancient starlings weren't as peaceful as they were made out to be after all. What kind of utopia needs these kinds of killing machines around? <sighs> I wonder how these things work. They move, but without any trace of magic. That's just scary. Just a little bit. What's this thing just sitting in the water over here? Some very stagnant looking water. <laughs> uh, oh, a chest. 
Ah. For some reason they have Andralian penny coins up here in this ancient star city. Oh, there's another one. Uh, a little help just bar. Coming. Like looking around for my arrows. Oh shit, there's more over there. Small starling spider. Where'd all my arrows go? They just vanish. Oh well. Oh damn it, another freaking. Centurion, Centurion, whatever they want to call him. Uh, what's up here? up just in time to get electrocuted. Oh hey. Blueprints. Ooh, Starling boots, Starling helmet, and Starling sword. And a Starling sword. Hmm. Okay, cool. It's worth checking what was up here. Oh, and chest right over here. Hey, ah, oh, that's where I'm supposed to head. Sneak attack damage, hopefully. Or not. There we go. Hallelujah. Soul gym filled. Anything over here? Dresser. Ancient crystal coin. Cool. Ah. Let's not run through the water. right over there, but we can quickly check to see what's the, what this is, I suppose. Sure, I below. What is that going to be the... Ah, just far. Um, is that going to be like the main entrance to the Sure, I over here? <laughs> this place is so huge. Star City. 
I'll just follow the map with the quest markers. Oh dear. Oh, oh shit. The ship is gone. Where in blazes is the ship? Well, I suppose this flying steelbird got them. Oh no, I hope not. We should go down and we'll search for survivors. I mean, come on, or I say we go look for the map now and then we'll need to find another way out of here. Oh. Very heroic, but that would be suicide. At least as long as that alarm is still active. Yeah. In other words, we need to find a way to switch it off. Okay, and how? <laughs> Question of the century. But my first guess would be somewhere within the tower it's itself. To. We... The Shuriai. Kamai said it meant something like workshop. That sounds like the best place to go right now. Come on, let's go back inside. Yeah, so now we have now we've gotta go through that other door. Well, now that we've come to this point and uh Kermai turned on us, the, the poor magistra has apparently paid the price, and now our fucking starship is missing. Um I'm gonna end this video here, so yeah, ne next time we'll go see about uh getting that alarm switched off and finding the map and all that good stuff. Now